back today I'm going to show you how to create a game timer and a countdown timer so let's jump straight into the video we're going to start by finding the third person game mode maybe not and if you're in first person you'll obviously use the first person game mode but we're going to get the game mode and I'm going to use the game mode because if if the code is in the game mode it will run throughout the whole time that you're playing so first off we're going to create two variables we'll call it seconds and we want that as an integer as the seconds are a whole number and then we're going to create another variable called minutes if I might have spelled that correctly uh, compile these both and make sure they're both set to zero so zero seconds and zero minutes right, what we're going to use we're going to be using an event tick as it's going to be progressing throughout the whole level and we're going to start by using a delay of one second so we need this because it's, it's to do with time and after each second we want it to add a second essentially so that's why we're using the delay so then we comp uh, on the completed node we do set seconds keep that as it is and then we need a minus integer integer minus integer drag the seconds out and we want to hook that up there bring that a little bit in we're doing a we're doing the count up timer first actually so we need a plus integer plus integer once we've done this we need a branch and we're going to use a condition which is greater than that it want to come up but greater than we use this one, just the one. Then we really are seconds again. Get seconds, hook that up. And we're going to set this to 60 as there are 60 seconds in each minute. If this is true, then we're going to set minutes. As So basically, what this is saying, when there is 60 seconds, it should add one minute. And then we're going to do that by using the same node that we got here which is a plus integer, integer plus integer and then we're gonna we're gonna get the minutes and hook that up there just space this down here a little bit so basically what this is saying when there's 60 seconds have passed one minute will be added each time 60 seconds have passed once that is done we have to tell the engine to set the seconds set the seconds back to zero So the second after one minute is added, the seconds will reset again, and it'll keep adding one each time. And then when it gets to sixty, it will add another minute to the to the timer, as that's what we want. Right, then we can comment this and just call it timer game timer compile save. We can minimize this for a bit. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to find our HUD. Uh, we created a HUD last time, so if you're using the same one, we'll use this one, or you can use any HUD that you've got. We're going to drag out two text boxes, and let's just anchor them to the middle of the screen, because I want to stick it in the middle. Another one here. Anchor it again. And I'm just going to change this value. Just put zero in there. I mean, from here, I'll bring them a little bit closer. But here, and then we're gonna just add a, a a colon, just so we can see properly. I think about there will be alright. Compile. Then I'm just gonna call this seconds and let's call this one not the colon you want the other one so just kind of call this minutes and then with the seconds one we're going to create a binding i think i did that the other way around seconds need to be last so we can just move that there and move the minutes sorry it's a bit messy
yeah, so obviously it's minutes and seconds. I just did it the wrong way around. The binding. All right, we just will create a binding for the get seconds. We'll just call this. We'll rename the uh, the function seconds. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do it, but we'll call it seconds. And then we're gonna want to cast the game mode. We'll cast the game mode as that's where our code was in. And the object we're gonna do is get game mode. And as this one, we're gonna get our seconds. As that's what that's the node that we're doing right now. And then we're gonna hook that up. Space out a little bit so it's easy to see. I know it's not the neatest, let's see what we can do for this. Yeah, that looks fine to me for now. So that's all we need really for the seconds. So then we click pile, go back to our designer, and then we click minutes, create a binding. That's already called get minutes. We're gonna do the exact same again. Just create some space. We're gonna do cast to game mode. Cast to game mode. Make sure you choose the right one. No, that's the wrong one. But it's called cast to third person game mode. Do get game mode. And then we're gonna do the same again. We're going to get minutes this time. Hook that up. Hook that there. Compile. Save. Save that. Then we're gonna play. And as you see, the timer is building up. Right, I'm gonna pause the video when we get closer to 60. So in a few seconds, the minute should grow by one. Yep, it worked perfectly fine. Well, we could set it to 59. It looked better. Let's let's do that instead. Set it to 59. Okay, then we go straight to. Where was it? Yeah, so in the game we're gonna set this to fifty nine instead. It turned out better, we set to fifty nine. And then yeah, that's it for the game time of going up. Yeah, pretty much works fine. Alright, thank you for watching. I'm gonna show you how to do the countdown timer in another video, which will be coming straight after this one as a part two. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.